by slowly getting involved in the student union, which I genuinely encourage every young man and woman at college and university today to do, you just learn so much. It's about meeting people, developing friendships, and learning about politics, representation, argument, demanding, and all the rest of it. I change any of it, not a jot. I have had the most charmed life where I got to be president of the National Union of Students, which I still think is one of the greatest honours and experiences anybody could ever have. Before I'd gone to university, I spent a year working in Ghana as a teacher on voluntary service overseas, VSO. Um, so I had an, an interest in development issues and world poverty issues and so on. Um, and the student union was the place where you could begin to, you know, explore some of the, some of those wider issues about what's going on in the world. Most precious memory, I think it's the sense of comradeship with a large number of people who I really, really enjoyed working with and I learned a lot from. There was this tremendous sense of teamwork, which is quite unusual, I think, in any working environment. Well, I have a precious memory of absolutely mm. everything that happened. It was a time of revolution. It was a time of um, uh, direct action and it was a time of fantastic camaraderie uh, and wonderful fistfights. I, I was a non-political being when I entered NUS. Um, I was a highly political being when I left. I, um, I had had enormous experience in NUS because I was the first full-time paid president elected but um, I moved into NUS headquarters in Ensley Street as um, uh, chief executive officer, in effect. Um, I had to administer uh, the union. I had to travel all over the world. I had to meet heads of state. I had to argue the NUS case uh, in communist countries. And all this was a vast experience, which I couldn't have been without. The diversity of talent in the NUS is just amazing. I mean, if you go to an NUS conference, um, speeches range from incredibly humorous to the incredibly boring, um, uh, to the local, to the global. So you meet lots and lots of people. Um, and I think that stands you in good stead. I've got lots of precious memories and um, I, one of them will be about leaving an executive that uh, when I first joined the NUS executive in 1974, there'd only ever been in its existence one woman on that executive. And by the time I left, we had 50%. So that's one very precious memory. And then um, I, I think maybe my most precious memory, really, is that um, I was the first woman president, and I was succeeded by the first black president. And that felt very proud as an achievement. But you know, I'm, I'm a London boy. I was born just down the road from, from where we are now. And the chance to go up to Chester and meet people from, you know, from the northeast, from the northwest, from the middle, you know, and, and to interact with people and, and to have a good time. And I realised at the time that we were a generation and the generation was, was, was having fun and doing good. I hope I got elected because people thought I could do the job, but there's no doubt in my mind that um, the student movement in electing me was also sending a great big fat signal to everybody else about the importance of tolerance and, and inclusion and all those kinds of values that I think now we take for granted.